What's up guys, welcome to Audio Plugin Deals, where today we're having a look at the synth phase plant. And if videos like this are useful to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you get to see every single time a new video, a new deal goes live. So firstly, let's talk a little bit about phase plant because it's a synth kind of not like anything else. It's kind of taking the modular concept into the software world in the way that we can actually take any kind of oscillator type we like, any type of effect we like, any kind of effect line that we like and any modulation and cross root everything. We actually start in phase plant with a completely blank canvas if we choose to not use one of the amazing presets available in the bundles. And we can choose each kind of oscillator, modulator and effect as we go along. Long, building up effectively our ideal synth. I think the best way to really show you this is dive over into my DAW and break down how we can set up using phase plant. So let's get into that. Okay, so let's just break down the GUI of Faceplant just so we understand what we're looking at. So across the top section here, we've got what you'd commonly find on your MIDI controller. We've got eight knob controls and our mod wheel control. And these can all be linked to an external MIDI control or and linked to multiple parameters within Faceplant itself. On the left hand side here, we've got all of our oscillators as well as some effect and filter modules. And effectively think of this area here as everything that generates a sound. When we hover over here, you can see we've already got these modules in but we get this grayed out module at the bottom here and if we just click on it it will give us options for other generators and things that we can pull into that space so we could bring an analog generator in here for example whatever we've got selected will always have this green plus on it, its right hand side and if we select it that's going to allow us to root it in various ways so what we can do is then root it into other elements of the synth modules or effects modules that are in here. We can even FM synth it and route it back into itself. Over on the right hand side, we have the three lanes and these are three separate effects lanes. And what we can do is send any of the outputs into an individual lane. So it's only processed by that stream of effects. For example, if we were to put another module down below here, put another output in, and we can choose which lane to send this to. So for example, this could now be sent solely to lane three. So it's only being affected there or into lane two. Works in the same way in that we can add as many modules in as we like. More of these can be purchased from Kilohertz Audio as well for adding new effects. However, we come with a good suite to start us off with. Across the bottom section is all of our modulation. Anyone who has used Ableton in the past will be familiar with this kind of layout. In here, we can add a modulator. The same workflow applies. We can add, say, an envelope into here. And then to choose where to link it, we have a little orange plus. And when we tap this plus, it puts us into an edit mode and everything that is available to link that particular parameter to can then be attached right here. So if we were, for example, to attach this envelope to the gain of our new output. Once that's done, it's now controllable via the wheel just here. So we could have it so the gain, for example, is taken away each time the note plays. So now that we understand the GUI of Faceplant, let's have a look at building a sound from scratch. To make ourselves a fresh patch, we can just click on new up here, completely resets Faceplant to its blank default state. So we'll keep our same loop. And currently if we hit play, we just get our drum loop. 
So let's try and build ourselves a new baseline. We're going to start by creating a sound generator. So we click over here in the grayed out area and let's grab ourselves the wavetable option. Faceplant comes with a good set of wavetables and we can just click where it says default wavetable here and we have hundreds to choose from. Let's pick ourselves up something that's a little bit interesting, some kind of combing saw, for example. We can click on it and that just loads in by default. As this was our first oscillator added in, it's automatically got a gain configuration set up for us. We can switch on unison and have independent left and right. Whereas semitones can actually do minus 12 to drop an octave. Let's try and make the sound a bit more of a pluck. And we could do that by using an envelope and linking it to the Again, it's down in the modulators. We're going to go in here, click on the little grayed out area, and we're going to take an envelope using the orange icon. We're going to link that to our gain over here. And we're going to add it so it goes 99% open. And then we can just click off to get out of the edit mode. And we are going to actively drop our gain down to zero. So it's now controlled entirely by the envelope. Now 99 has pushed the gain far too far. So a simple way to then control that is just to just go here. We have this orange circle. This will allow us to simply dial that back without having to go back into the edit mode. I'm going to make this more of a pluck sound. So we want a fast attack, very quick decay, and quite a short release. No sustain. We're going to help it by adding a little bit of low end weight. Let's add another oscillator and use an analog. And we want to make this a sine wave. We can just choose our wave here. We're going to drop this down an octave. Turn it off so we no longer hear our wavetable. We can switch it off here. Switching here, we now have no sound. Anything we add after our first sound source doesn't have an audio output. So to route this to it, we can simply drag it above. It is now being routed into the gain. We can hear it. We've got some nice weight there by dropping it down an octave. Bring our wave table back in. Let's have a look now at changing some effects. So this is currently sent to lane one. So in lane one, let's see what we can apply. Let's apply a simple chorus. Struggling for chorus settings, you can just use the drop down here and apply some presets. Equally, you can roll the dice. That's how we can very quickly begin to build up our own patches based entirely on our own ideas and adding the types of oscillators and effects that we feel we need and nothing more. Let's now have a little browse through some of our options in the base folder and check out the presets in there. To browse our presets, we can go up to here and tap browse. We've got different sets of... <coughs> 
Over here to the left, we've got our different library types. We've got favorites. If we have chosen to favorite a sound, we can do that by simply clicking a heart just here. Our user libraries, anything that we've saved. And then we've got the factory library, as well as any of the libraries we've added from kilohertz. Let's go into New London and check out some of the bass sounds in here. When we click the bass sound, it will automatically load that project. Drama fits this track quite well. We can click browse again. And that will show us our project. As you can see, everything in here is currently grouped. Click the full screen just to drop it down. It will show us everything in that group and how that sound was made. Same applies for the modulators. that's been a simple introduction to Facepart and how you can get started with browsing, loading up your presets, setting up a completely new project and building your own sound from scratch, or simply experimenting by rolling the dice on your effects. Hope the video has been helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to Audio Plugin Deals for more videos and more deals on a regular basis. See you soon.